Want to translate your Jupyter X website? It's easy. All you need to do is take care of the content in your primary language and let WPML do the rest. Let me show you how it works using this Jupyter X and Elementor e-commerce template. This is the homepage. It has a menu in the header, a hero section with text and calls to action, and page content that includes a list of WooCommerce products. At the very bottom, we've got a selection of footer widgets. The site also has a shop page, an account page, a cart, and more. Let me show you how I quickly translated this entire website into French using WPML. You need to install WPML's core plugins, CMS, string translation, and media. When configuring WPML, you firstly need to choose your default and secondary languages. I'll choose French. Then choose how you'd like to format your URL. Next, register your WPML site key. Click on Get a key for this site and follow the instructions to access a development or production site key. Now is the important part where you choose how you would like to translate your site. You have two options, translate everything or translate some. Translate everything will automatically translate your site's main content as you publish or update it while Translate Some lets you pick and choose what content you would like to translate, when it is translated, and who it is translated by. I'm going to choose the fastest method, Translate Everything. This means all my existing content will get translated instantly, and all future content will be translated as it is added or updated. At this stage, I can also choose if I'd like to review my translated content before it is published, or I can publish and then review it at a later date, or I can not review it at all, it's up to you. In this case, I'm going to publish the translated content immediately and then review it at a later date. Wrapping up the rest of the setup wizard, I'm asked to install WooCommerce Multilingual as I have WooCommerce installed already. This is an included add-on from WPML that helps translate WooCommerce stores, like the one that I'm using in this example. Because I've installed WooCommerce Multilingual, I now need to finish the setup wizard for this plugin too. While configuring the add-on, I've decided to enable multi-currency to let me show different currencies per language. And I've also decided to translate all products automatically as I create or edit them. After completing both setup wizards, I'm taken to the WPML Translation Management Dashboard, which will now calculate what content needs to be translated and how many translation credits that will cost me. This is because automatic translation isn't free. We use translations from Google, Microsoft or DeepL. New WPML accounts come with enough credits to translate a small to medium sized site like mine, but if you need more credits, you can easily purchase them. As you can see, WPML is busy translating all of my site's content automatically into my chosen secondary language, French. When it's finished, myself or a local translator can review these translations on the front end. I can quickly accept any translations that are correct or edit any translations that might be wrong from directly within WPML's Advanced Translation Editor. I'm now going to check the front end of my site. Finding the WPML language switcher in the footer I can see that WPML has translated all of my main site content into French. It's even translated my WooCommerce products, my shop page, my account, and my checkout page. But what about the texts that haven't been translated, like these checkout steps? Occasionally, Texts that come from themes and plugins like JupyterX don't get translated automatically. 
We call these strings and they need to be translated via a different method. Firstly, find WPML's Themes and Plugins localization tool. Here you can scan your theme and plugin files for all available strings. Once a scan is complete, the strings will become available in WPML string translation module. If I head over to the string translation module, I can now simply search for the string I am looking to translate and then insert the translation for my secondary languages. And that's it. On the front end, I can now see that my string has been translated. Simply repeat the process for any other missing strings. Because Jupyter X comes with Elementor Page Builder included, you may need to translate your Elementor headers and footers too. Head to the list of Elementor templates and simply click the plus icon to automatically translate any template you need. Let me just wrap up the final touches. I want to add two new currencies to my website via the WooCommerce multilingual settings, pound sterling and euro. And there you have it, a working multilingual site built in minutes with JupyterX, Elementor, WooCommerce and WPML.